Hi there, everyone. This is Buffalo Bill, and welcome to my weekly uh, makeup tutorial. Uh, before before I start my tutorial, I just wanted to wish everyone a very happy Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day today. Uh, I had a great mom. She's no longer with us, but her name was Lorraine, um, and she was a great gal. You know, a lot of people say, you know, Buffalo Bill, you, you have your mom's hair. And to that I say, yes, of course, yeah, I have it right here, yeah. I only wear it for special occasions like this. It's more of a, it's more of a, a brunch wig. I, I like to go out and have brunch wearing this, you know. Yeah, uh, today I went out and had a Mother's Day brunch. I had a quiche. Uh, ironically, it was quiche Lorraine. You know, people ask me, did they name Quiche Lorraine after your mother, Bill? And of course I say, no, that would be ridiculous. My mom did not invent Quiche Lorraine. That would be far out. So anyway, today's makeup tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do your lips. You, know, you notice that my lips are bare. There's nothing there right now. I wanted to, to show you what I do. So first of all, you wanna make sure they're nice and dry. So I'll just take a small cloth um, and get all sorts of weird shit on me. I don't know what is on this. Uh, uh, okay, I'm just gonna wipe that off. <laughs> it tastes like cotton. Um, and then what I'm gonna do, now that I'm nice and dry, is I'm gonna just pucker, do a little pucker, okay? No, my, my lips do not work on one side. It's just a little bit of paralysis that I have since I was a child. So what I'll do is I'll take a little tape, like this, I'll just, I'll go like this, all right? And I'll just, I'll just make it so that the lips pucker correctly so I get a nice symmetry there, okay? And then what I'll do is I'll take uh, a nice lipstick. This one is called Lip Duo. Um, I'm not sure why it's called Lip Duo because as far as I can see, there's only one of them. I have yet to find the second or the, or the, the dose for my Hispanic audiences. Um, so what I'll do is I'll take it and I'll just, I'll do a little pucker, okay? And then I'll just caress it around like that. Make sure I get it all the sides of it, okay? And it's not a rush. You don't have to rush this. I cannot stress enough. Take your time with it. So then I'll just go like this. There we go, all around. And I'll just do a smacker. I'll schmucker it, schmacker it. All right, there you go. Now, a lot of people think the lips are just these pieces of tissue right here that we have. I tend to believe and think that the lips are more broadly accessed throughout the face. When a man kisses you, they kiss your bottom region of the face, you know, not just your lips. So I tend to like to expand upon it a little bit more. I'll go around like this. I'll go all around here go it's like an oval like a little spiral if you will I'll take it and I'll just go a little along what there you go there you go okay and then I'll dab it I want to dab just a little dab all around and what I find here's your trick all right if you're gonna write anything down write this I want a nice object that I can just spatter it around I like to use a a common doorstop I found this on the floor but I'll just I'll just pat it around, just like that. Just all around, it gets it in there. I like it to be rubbed in, you know, it's like grated in there. You sh it should not easily come off, okay? What the worst is when you're making out with a guy, am I right, ladies? And you know, he, you get all the, your lipstick all over his face, you know, and I don't really like that. So then I'll, I'll, I'll take a nice cloth and I'll make sure that it doesn't come off. There you go, there you go, that's the test. Now, if you really want to test it out, I call this one the apricot danish test. I'll just take a bit of apricot danish. Oh, yep. Look, there's no lipstick on it. And if it doesn't get off on the danish, I don't know what it would get off on. So thank you for attending my, my, uh, my makeup seminar today. If you haven't already, hit subscribe for me. Um, and um, next week I'm going to release a podcast. It's called Catherine Dies Today. And it's a podcast where we dye clothes, do some tie-dye work 
with ladies named Catherine. Again, happy Mother's Day, uh, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.